welcome to my tutorial. I'm Vivian McKinder and we are in my bedroom, yes, getting ready to do a show. And I thought, you know what, when you see these shows, there's so much that you don't see. So here we go. A step bob. Ooh, ooh. Combing the hair the way it falls. Cutting without tension. No elevation. No, no over direction. And a very sharp set of scissors. It requires balance, control, and gliding. And I do not recommend you drink coffee before you do this technique. You would have the shakes. Scissor over comb. Gradually, smoothly, up to the weight line, and stop. Notice I tilt my comb around so that I make it nice and snug. I did the scissor over comb all the way through the nape of the neck. And here you can see I'm cleaning up this really lovely line. Working through the sides. As you can see, my lovely model has quite fine hair, so I do need to build some strength into it. So you can see freehand cutting around the ear to give a very dramatic edge and put more substance into her blonde hair. So this is the type of hair texture where really you will need to strengthen the hairline. And you can see here, cutting freehand and giving more strength to what looks like baby hair and it's kind of fluffy. To graduate, more tension, more stretching, more over direction, gives a beautiful blend in the graduation because the hair is wet. Obviously, I can stretch it a little bit more. All the hair is being over directed forward with a lift, which means it's shorter around the hairline with some weight and substance behind. So if you were to look front on, tight at the temple and wider at the ear. Repeating on my second side, again freehand cutting and making sure that all that fine hair has some strength to it. And you can see this is a disconnected hairstyle. The inspiration for this is to give a strong bob line, the step bob in the back, very dramatic. And here a disconnection, the ear section does not connect into the bob line. And this hairstyle has quite a few disconnects. We have cut both side areas from the hairline to the back of the ear. It's a little square section. So now what we're doing is we are actually sliding down the hair with the razor, creating some lovely valleys and peaks to make this soft and more broken. So we're transitioning from the strength of the scissors into the softness and the wispiness of the disconnect and here you can see our finished result a nice one length line a really sweet disconnection and absolutely adorable so let's now jump into the color we can see here we're retouching with 20 volume platinum with a non ammonia true grip applied to the new growth and you can see we're going very very meticulously through this area so basically she's going to do this very sheer fine application what is critical is to make sure that we don't get an overlay we actually just want to be very mindful of getting that root area perfect as you know there is an art to perfect perfect application neatness precision and making sure that we're so mindful of not over processing one of the common things I see in the marketplace is hair that that has been over processed with breakage or it has not been processed sufficiently and there are bands of orange and different tonalities of blonde. To do a beautiful even blonde from roots to ends is so critically important. So here we have our end result and our beautiful model looks stunning. On stage I actually did some really cute pastel colours which I think is marvellous for our blondes uh, because you can keep changing them and you know what this hairstyle is playful, it's cute and as you can see once again we have this lovely bob line. We have the disconnected two sides, the square sides. We have this lovely panel so that it can be peekaboo. I hope you've enjoyed this look and if you want to see more beautiful techniques of this nature, please do check out Backstage Pass. Thanks and bye for now.